Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Hi my fellow Jimbo, thank you so much for joining me again in this video. Now today I have got a double reveal and these bags I already bought but I really wanted to share with you because I've been dying to share these with you for so so long. I feel like a lot of you guys would be interested in seeing it because they are two of my unicorn items that I've been trying to find for the past 12 months. Ever since basically I was back onto the multicolor bandwagon and ever since I bought this little baby I have wanted to purchase these two items so you guys probably already know what I'm about to share and reveal to you guys but before I do if you are new here hi welcome my name is June I am a doctor by day but I love making videos about luxury I love talking about handbags I love buying vintage bags brand new bags bags of my life but I am also doing a 12 month luxury bag ban anything luxury really um so a lot of these things that i'm revealing and sharing with you guys are items i've already bought but haven't shared it with you so if you are interested in those type of videos do subscribe if you haven't already and if you're a fellow june bug hi i love you don't forget to like and comment down below all right so let me just share with you guys the two bags that i have recently purchased and it is the louis vuitton mini speedy in the multicolor blanc and the mini speedy in the multicolor noir i do have both of them and here they are in their absolute cuteness oh my gosh can you just like is this not the cutest little bags ever like oh my god <laughs> it's so cute um and what inspired me to actually make this purchase is this gorgeous mini speedy which i bought a year ago and i have absolutely loved um, so this has been in my collection for a year now. Believe you me, I know I can't believe it myself also because it just feels like I only just recently bought it. But now I have the trifecta, which is awesome. I am so, so stoked, you guys. So firstly, as you guys know, I've been absolutely obsessed with this bag for forever. I purchased this last year, but ever since I got it, I have absolutely loved it. When I first got it, I just couldn't believe how teensy wincy and so cute and adorable this bag is i was obsessed um i am petite you guys i am five foot tall not very tall at all but this bag is so cute and i think it actually looks good on my frame i don't think it looks too teeny tiny initially when i first saw it i just thought it was dumb i thought it was absolutely stupid this is the louis vuitton um speedy hl i remember when i was first looking at louis vuitton this was on the pre-love market for 400 australian dollars like cheap as chips now they're about like 800 1000 australian dollars which is insane i bought this thankfully for 650 they're about so not too bad and also this isn't in the best condition so this is a vintage bag i didn't mind going vintage i really just wanted a bag that was still in reasonable condition i want it to be quite patinaed and i like this better than the brand new ones that are available in store right now not right now because they're impossible to find as well um the reason being is because this does not come with a strap the new ones have a non-detachable strap which is a mess like i hate bags that you cannot detach a strap on especially because i'm petite and oftentimes the bag straps are so long so if i had bought it i would have had to cut it so yeah this bag you can actually attach a strap i just attach it to these two sections here i honestly just get like a strap like this um i do have a vachetta strap as well and i attach it to the front just like this and then you have a shoulder strap to go with it i personally love it with the thicker straps um i have a louis vuitton um strap as well which i attach to this um, because i think it looks super cute excuse my washing it is going mental at the moment sorry guys i had to pause because my washing machine was about to fly off um this bag did actually come with a strap that i purchased with it it was quite long so i actually don't use it i would recommend if you're looking at purchasing this bag to actually just get it as the bag itself 
don't be bothered getting it with a strap because a lot of the times you won't use it and you probably already have straps lying around anyways especially if you purchase Louis Vuitton items for a little while so um, I just use my bandolier strap my key pole is a vintage uh, key pole so this strap actually works perfectly for this bag it is um, quite thick but I actually love that with this bag the reason I use the bandolier strap and not any other strap is because the this actually shortens to the length that I want it all of the other adjustable straps from Louis Vuitton tend to still be quite long so this is the perfect strap for this bag this bag I've been using quite a lot it fits enough for me in terms of day-to-day -day running errands um, just going shopping um, so I knew that I really really wanted to get this in the multicolor range because you guys know I have been obsessed with multicolor I have loved like multicolor so so much lately and I've actually just finally finished my multicolor collection so I will do a collection video coming up very very soon but these two were the pièce de résistance pieces that I knew I wanted to get because they are so so hard to find so very quickly this is the Blanc um, these Blanc versions tend to be quite difficult to find in good condition for my Blanc piece I paid about 1200 Australian dollars for this one this did not come with a strap it just came as is and honestly this is probably the best condition I could find it in for the price um, there are better Blanc um, multicolor mini speedies out there but not honestly um, not for the price that I was willing to pay if I wanted to get one in good condition it was about $1,800 or $2,000 and this is a tiny ass bag and this is a vintage bag so for that money I would rather use it for like something brand new or I don't know like I just I didn't feel right to me so I'll just show you the condition of this bag so you guys have a rough idea of how much you should pay um, so these Blanc bags are renowned for staining. I don't know if you can see, but there is a bit of staining at the top there, just there. And that is honestly because the Blanc, the white is so prone to like staining from the um, Vachetta. And also the interior is red, which can bleed. So this has a bit of staining just um, on the piping because the Vachetta actually bleeds onto the white but it's not as bad as some of the other ones that I've seen which the whole patch is actually stained and um, this is actually just limited to where the vachetta is so not too bad this color combination is the green and the pink and then on the back is the blue and the dark navy not my favorite color combination you guys know um, my favorite is actually this yellow with this pink if that was at the front here that would have been ideal um, but you know I honestly struggled to find these in good condition for the price so um, I'm pretty happy with it and also just looking at the Vachetta handles it's actually in really good nick and um, the strap here um, has ripped which is quite common with these nanos they're actually very difficult to find any with um, without that completely broken and then the other thing is there's not a lot of chipping of the um, silk screen on this one which is not too bad so that's the nano so cute oh my god and then my favorite one is the noir you guys know I'm a noir girl I love the black multicolor it's my absolute favorite um, because the silk screen on it just absolutely pops and this one has my favorite color combo which is the um, lime green and the pink and then on the other side it does have the navy and the green I actually prefer the green and the bright blue but honestly you really can't complain too much about the color combination of this one the beauty of multicolor bags is that even if you find like the same bag they're all going to be slightly different depending on the part of the canvas that they use so you know you may have like the color combo that you want here but then on the sides it may be a bit different so for example this has the the navy and then the white on the on the side um, some other bags have like green pink you know whatever have you so it's really just depends on <laughs> which one you find so even though finding one in good condition for a good price is important for me I also really wanted the colorway because there's so many times I have found the green and the pink in the multicolor noir but I do want to get it because 
The black multicolor runs for far more. It's about 2300 And I was just thinking if I was going to get one, I would honestly get one with the colorway that I wanted. So I was a bit more patient with this because I really wanted it in the combination that I wanted. So this is ultimately my favorite. I would have preferred this one um, the right way up. You see how it's upside down. I would have preferred this one on this side, but when you're carrying it, it's sort of, it's okay. Um, but the price on this one was really good, in my opinion, for this bag. And I paid 1000 This is going to kill me. This is why I spent so much last year. And this is why I need to cut back on spending. This costed me $1,800. And fifty dollars thereabouts and I think I paid about hundred dollars in shipping both of these I purchased from a Japanese consignment seller because that is where I find the best deals and I did buy them both with my own money just FYI so these two are my latest additions to my handbag collection and I just will quickly share with you guys what actually fits because a lot of you guys may look at this bag and think damn that is so not functional but honestly if you don't carry a lot and you just want to like cute little bag to put all your stuff in and not have it in your hands this is the perfect sort of grab and go bag so I wear glasses like I'm wearing contacts at the moment I wear glasses so I can put these in here and they fit easily um sunny so these are my ray-ban rounds these are ray-bans are often the only sunglasses I wear because I think that they're really good brand um they look great they look classic and they don't cost an arm and a leg um so i will often have like a sleeve of something so i'll just put it in this louis vuitton bag and i'll just wrap it so that it doesn't get scratched and then this will go in here very easily i will put my phone this is the iphone 10 but i am actually getting the iphone 11 as a work related expense so anyway this is the iphone 10 and this will just go into the bag just like that. Um, whether or not the iPhone 11 fits, um, I'm not 100% sure. I will let you know when I get it. This is my wallet. This is actually legitimately my wallet for the past one to two years. Um, it is the Louis Vuitton clay pochette. It is my absolute favorite Louis Vuitton SLG ever in life. Would recommend it to anyone as your first piece. If you don't have this piece, you need it in your life, get it. So this goes straight in here. And I've got a whole bunch of keys with it. I just chuck it in there because I'm being realistic. I'm not taking any keys out just to make it fit. I'm just showing you guys exactly what I put in here. I obviously bring a little bit of makeup sometimes. So this is my lipstick that I'm using right now. It is the Becca Tint in the Watermelon. Absolutely love these Becca Tints. They're so, so gorgeous. And they don't feel uncomfortable. So I love this. I have it in another shade as well, like mango or papaya. Papaya. That's a good one. It's like a more peachy, orangey color. And then I've got my contacts lens case because I wear contacts out and about. And then I've got my Essence Liquid Ink, which you guys know, huge, huge fan because it's so small and I can fit it into anything and it's so cheap. I had, I just recently bought the DJ Osmo camera, so I am going to have a play around with this, but it is like, I'm planning to use this as like a vlogging camera because it's nice and small and I don't feel like a dick walking around with a camera vlogging myself. So. We are going to give this a go. So this is the DJ Osmo action. So I've put my, I'll put my DJ Osmo camera in there. And then I am just going to close this baby up. All right, there you go. And that is a tight squeeze, my friend. And I'm not going to lie. This is going to be inconvenient if your phone is in there. I often take my phone out and just put it in my pocket because it's hard to get it in and out of this bag sometimes. So I, it does fit, but I often don't put it in there just for convenience. But yeah, that is the bag. It fits a lot, in my opinion, definitely enough for day to day. It does also fit like the G7X if you wanted to fit that in there. That is it, you guys. That is my what fits in my Speedy Nano. And then also my reveals on these two other gorgeous bags. Um, let me know if you want me to do a multicolor collection video. And also uh, any handbag videos you want me to do. I'm really trying to get back on the ball with YouTube because I do love filming and now that I'm in my own space I will be able to do that a bit more regularly but um, yeah let me know what you guys think do comment in the comment section below if you're new to my channel welcome I would love to hear from you and I would love for you to subscribe if any of the things that I mentioned before is of any interest and yeah you guys that is it from me I hope you guys are having a wonderful week or weekend and I'll see you guys in my next one bye